Ever wondered how you can attach any table from Excel and send the email to your colleagues? Well, it's very really easy with Power Automate, and I will gonna show you today. Let's dive in. Suppose you have a number of colleagues with different positions in the organization and a different completion of the KPIs, and you would like to send this information to your senior leadership team. First of all, make sure that the data you have stored as a table. To do that, you need to go to insert and select all your data and select create table. Once you've done it, you would need to go to table design and give your table a relevant name. For example, KPI table. Okay. And now we can start building our flow. So we'll go to the create instant cloud flow. If you'd like to schedule this, and send the most recent KPIs on a weekly basis, you may go to the schedule cloud flow where you just select the period by which you will send the email. For simplicity, I will select instant cloud flow. I will call it as send KPIs info. I will select the manual trigger. Now let's start working on building our workflow. First, we would like to get the data from Excel table that we defined previously. For this, we would need to get component list rows present in a table. Here, I would like to mention that you're most likely on a corporate version of Power Automate. That's why I would like you to use the Excel online business version. I will use myself the personal, but it's basically the same. Uh, please use this component, the list rows present in the table. Once we define it, we can specify the Excel file and we can also specify our table that we defined previously. The next step would be to select the select component where we can refer to our previous step, which will be the records, right, from, from the Excel and we can give it a better name. We can give it a name like get employee KPI records and in the select the select component lets us to specify the fields that we will use for our table in the email so for example maybe we don't need to put all of our data into the table in email right so it allows us to map the fields that we further use for example, in this case, I will use all the fields, so I'll need to map all of them. And here I would recommend you to utilize the function as the value instead of just simply selecting this from the get employee records, because sometimes the Power Automate has a bug. It creates the for loop for you when you select the values from this list. So instead, just manually write the function, which will be item and the name of the field that will be. So the surname will be the next one. In the same way, you would need to give it a reference, which will be the surname. And the rest two will be the position, right? Sorry, this will be the position. And the function will be the position and the last one as I remember it's KPI percent so we can call it as KPI completion right as a name for our table but as the formula as the function we need to refer to the correct name that we have defined previously right so it's called KPI percent and if you go back to our Excel you can find all the names all the correct names that we need to refer in Power Automate. As you can see here, I refer to all of them. So then the next step would be to create the HTML table. And we will refer to our previous step right from the select mapping. You basically can call it as map fields for table, right? So that's what we did actually. And then we create, we initialize the HTML table. 
and the last processing component before sending email would be to compose and you may ask you why we use the compose here well basically we probably may need to format our table to look at better right to look at more beautiful to our senior leadership team and here in the inputs we'll pass the style settings for our table right i will put them and under the description of this video so you can always select the same settings as me so basically we define the style of our table right that we will use in our email and don't forget that at the bottom of this we we'll need to add actually the output from the previous step right from the html table that's basically it the last component we need to define here is the default one we just need to send an email so and here for the testing purposes i would send an email to myself and i can give a subject as a test table and then i can say hi there this is table okay and then i can select my table you see using the expression button and i can select output from the compose from the previous step okay then i can click save and i can test my flow as you can see everything is successful the flow successfully worked we can see that the table has been attached to our email with all the colleagues and the corresponding positions and the KPI accomplishments. Great. If you like more about PowerStamate, please let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Thank you.